going on everybody <laughs> i'm going to upload this video right here i know it's a bunch of us that have probably gone through going through this right here uber has deactivated my um instant pay no explanation given alleged fraud so i called sent emails didn't understand i mean it's not a big deal but hell I, it would it'd be nice to get paid you know at the end of the shift like you gave me the option to instead of waiting once a week and blah 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 um stuff like that so i get an email and of course the email say, states that okay so this was on june 26 i've been going back and forth with the uh spam emailage that uber does they kill me with that crap Fraudulent activity has been detected. What does that mean? This may include activities such uh, with the riders as illegitimate trips, patterns, having a pattern of trips with uncollected fares. I don't understand what that means when everything is electronic other than a cash tip I get. Phony accounts submitting false claims. Okay, so you just gave me a whole list of things. Now I got to guess what I do. Um, I have Excel. So a lot of times I'm in a college town right here in Columbia, South Carolina. Right here in this college town, guess what these folks do? They'll order X and then six people will jump in. So what am I supposed to do? I want to update the damn fare. Of course I'll do that. Okay, cool. Maybe it's that. I'll go down to Charleston to work. Same thing. College students will jump in. It's 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 a X, an XL group will jump in. As you see, see the row right here, and then you see the row in the back. So I have the third row. So I, I can't understand what it could be. As a precaution, instant pay has been disabled. Moving forward, you'll be paid weekly. What? I like to get my dollars at the end of the shift, man. I might want to pay my insurance early. I might want to just go put some gas back in my car. Okay. So, going back and forth with Uber and the, and the spam emailage, of course I get nowhere. Oh, we'll submit a claim. We'll go look through it. So, I submit a claim last, uh, I think, a uh, couple days. No, I submitted a claim the day of that, the 26th. Uh, it'll be three days before you get a response. We're going to try to go ahead and put a claim in to get it removed. Okay, three days later, I look at it, nothing. So I put another claim in. Hey, man, they said they was going to put a request in to remove it. Okay, it gets nothing. All right, cool. I'm like, okay, well, it ain't that bad of an issue. But I would like to because college will be back in soon. I want to be able to get my cash at the end of the night because these college students like to spend money. And, of course, when I get my part, I want to spend mine, too. All right, let's see what this BS is from Uber. Hi, Kelsey. Thanks for reaching out. I noticed that you have already filed this appeal on this issue. The outcome was sent to you by your fraud team. Unfortunately, one appeal may be submitted. Okay, that was a day ago. I want to really, oh, excuse me, I would really appreciate information on why I'm being, being put through this. This is wrong. I called several times about this issue. It's getting a little hot in here. About this issue, I'm being put on the back burner and I'm accused of something I did not do. They haven't shown me anything. Of course, the spam response will be back. Thank you for reaching out. Our fire team is still processing your appeals. Up to 72 hours. And this ain't exactly what they said, but of course, I'm skipping through it because, of course, the fraud team just repeats itself. I send this next message. What fraud? I have not done anything. And you all have not given me answers. I noticed that you have filed, uh, already filed an appeal. The outcome will be sent to you by our fraud team. Unfortunately, one appeal must be uh, can only be submitted at one time per issue. Okay, you guys continue to send me the, uh, the spam responses. I would like to know what happened so I could never put myself in this position again. Of course, I didn't get no response after that. Then when I called... I was told somebody hacked my account. Okay, so one person said that. So when I called back and days later, 
And then somebody else told me something different. They told me it was something I did. I said, well, ma'am, I have an XL. So when they when the X jump in and it's more than four people, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to upgrade my fare. Okay? Maybe somebody reported that. All right, cool. I got a dash cam. Nobody said it was that. Then somebody else said um, it was fraudulent activity on my account. Somebody tried to change my account and some other crap, which I had heard that happen in the weeks before. People calling and getting your information and then keying their bank account in. So when you cash out, <laughs> the money gets sent over there. But I'm not stupid enough to do that. So that would be foolish anyway. So I get to run around. And still, as of right now, I have no instant pay. You know, I haven't done but a couple of rides this week because I've been busy. Still can't cash out. And it says the same thing. Where's the thing at? Eh, can you see that? Oh. Oh, anyway, that's my stupidity. I can't get the focus of the stern wheelers in the way. Instant Pay is, a, is currently, uh, excuse me, Instant Pay isn't currently available for your account. You will receive your earnings the next week deposit scheduled. All right, anyway. So, Uber, you are screwing me. School time is about to start. I would like to get paid at the end of the shift because I had to put gas in at the beginning of the shift. I would like to get paid back unless you're going to give me a gas card and then at the end of the week you can suck it out and it don't affect me. Come on, Uber. Work with me, man. Work with me, man. Anyway, y'all, have any of you all had this problem? All right, I'm out. Waiting on the kids to come from the basketball practice.